What's going on everybody? So today I have a, something a little different than what I've nor normally been uploading which is a review of the M2CS and how it performed on the track, all the track days, all the miles that I put on it, getting to the racetracks. And I think it'll be a pretty informative review because it's going to be a little bit different than what we're normally used to with you know all the other car reviews where they drive it not very far maybe put it through a, a small track day but nothing too harsh or uh, nothing too significant so uh stay tuned and we'll get right to it and there she is parked up kind of a little dark over here so for the first thing that i really love about this car are the brakes the carbon ceramic brakes are insane especially on track they never overheat the stopping power on it is just unmatched i would actually say that the tires hold it back a lot of braking points that i had on some pretty high speed turns well high speed straightaways that lead into uh, some pretty harsh braking points it would actually skid and activate the abs a lot i think to maximize the full use of these brakes is to actually put on like just complete slicks for the racetrack which is just goes to show how amazing these brakes are how the, the tires and i have cup twos on right here power sport cup twos so it's not like it's some cheap tire they're pretty well known to be really good so never overheats the brakes never overheat i have completely stock everything and I would say one of the major concerns that a lot of people have when it comes to tracking with carbon ceramic brakes is that they're extremely expensive to replace, which is very true. However, I went through 15 track days with this car just this past season on top of about 9,000 miles on the highway and in the city getting to those racetracks. And the, as you can see, hopefully you can see, the discs are still looking brand new. I only ever had to replace the brake pads once and still these current pads on it are probably like 80% still left. The, pr the pads are a little bit more pricey than steel brake pads so that can be um, a cost factor as well but I probably would have had to have replaced steel discs maybe twice possibly even three times with the amount of uh, track use that I got with this car this past season and again the, the carbon ceramic discs are still pristine have a ton of life left in them so I cannot stress it enough that my mind was changed about carbon ceramic brakes after tracking this car for 15 track days this season my second favorite feature about this car are the brake ducts as you can see in the very front got these brake ducts right here that direct the air from the you know from the front of the car and it directs a lot of that heat and cools off those brakes a lot better even though carbon ceramic brakes don't overheat it helps preserve the life of the carbon ceramic brakes by keeping them as cool as possible so that is an amazing feature that i really really like about the car i would say going to one of the features Actually, I should say the lack of feature that I wish ha they had on this car was some venting system like they have on the M4 GTS to get that hot air out, as w make it a little bit easier for the hot air to come out of the wheel well as well. And then on top of that, it would have been nice to have some more aggressive aero, kind of like the M4 GTS with like a nice wing on the back. Or spoiler that would have been really nice but can't really complain i guess it's more of like a high really really high performance street car and i mean it's exactly that so for the next feature that i'm going to talk about we're going to get in and start driving i'll see you there It 
is completely from factory. There have been no modifications done to the car whatsoever. Uh, no exhaust, no uh, software, no nothing. The only thing I, I added to the car was car, or, um, excuse me, that uh, Expel paint protection film, so that I just have no, you know, no worries. You know, just have that peace of mind of, you know, rock strikes from the highway or from the racetrack, things like that. So that's all that I've done to this car. Alright, and so my next favorite thing that I love about this car is the manual transmission. Now I know the M2CS also came with a DCT, but I think what makes this car special is the option with the manual. The manual makes it so much fun on the track, and what's even better is that it has auto rev matching, which I think is fantastic, because I'm not like the best manual car driver, so having the auto rev match makes the manual driving experience so much more fun and engaging without having to worry about really just messing up the transmission or engine when you're especially on the racetrack. The one thing I did not like about this car and I think it's not so much with this car but more so the inter infotainment system is the uh, the iDrive. I, I always have issues with my phone connecting to it and playing music when I'm on a long road trip like after I turn the car on and off a few times after filling up gas and making multiple stops it it loses connection with the phone and then it loses the ability to for the phone to reconnect to it for some reason and the only way that I found that I read online on the forums to fix it is to just restart your phone and when you already have like maps and stuff loaded up on it it kind of gets frustrated when you have to do that sometimes for this being a track car it's really not much of a, a big problem but it's just you know one of those gremlins that that uh that just kind of make the experience with the car a little bit more frustrating that's all we are switching out my cars for my parking spots so i'm gonna give you guys a nice sweet cold start with the c63 even though it has nothing to do with the M2CS. So I found the car to be about probably top 75% of the cars out there on track days. So not the best, but certainly not the slowest. And it's able to really enjoy the track days when you don't have to worry about too much about having people pass you where you have to get off the racing line and just messes up your, your rhythm and all that. I'd say it fit just perfectly. So would I recommend this car for your track car? Absolutely, and I don't plan on selling this car anytime soon. This is an amazing car. I started out tracking with Mercedes AMG, like that one, and just didn't really cut it. It's a fun car, it's loud, makes, it's, you know, brings out a lot of motion, but in terms of the dri driving dynamics that the M2CS offers, it's, it's unbeatable. <laughs> Highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one.